So, just writing it very short, okay? And we're going to end to three, okay? Bearing in mind, this is four terms. Okay, I'm just going to write it clearly here so you know it's equals to, okay? Let's just handle the real part first. So, is this add up with this? Okay, so, it's, yeah, one times this, one over root two, add up with one over root two. Minus, minus, times together, positive. So, we get two over root two. Okay, and then after that, doing it for the imaginary side, we plus again, and we, if we get 2i over root 2. Okay, at this point of time, we can rationalize the denominator, but we shall not do that at the moment. So this is what we get. Now, let's just check for n equals to 4, okay, just to clarify, you know, whether the pattern repeats itself. So n equals to 4, imaginary number times by that, because we're increasing the power by 1, that would give us negative 1 times the negative, so it would give us 1, and from here, we will add another 90 degrees over here, and we will get on this side of the graph, which is also 1 over root 2. And there we go, the pattern repeats itself, because this term over here is the same as this term over here, so as we keep on increasing n, it will just go back, it will just go to this term, 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 to this term. So that means n equals to 0 to n equals to 3 repeats itself. That is good. Repeats itself. So what is the next step? Well, logically, the next step is to find how many times it repeats itself. 41 terms, correct? 41 terms, and every 4 term it repeats itself. That means if I write 4 terms, times 10 equals to 40 terms. Now, why times 10 and not times 11? Because if I times 11, I'll get 44 terms, I will overshoot the submission. See, it will, it's like that. n equals to 0, n equals to 39, n equals to 40. So this one is the 4 terms times 10. Because n equals to 0 to n equals to 39 is 40 terms. So these terms all go inside here, which is the sum of the first 4 terms times 10. As easy as that. Why again? Because I re-emphasize that it repeats itself. So n equals to 4 is this, n equals to 5, 6, 7 is the same as n equals to 0, 1, 2, 3. So basically, I can just times 10. And that will give me 40 terms, which will bring me all the way to n equals to 39. So what about this one over here? Well, we must not forget about that because this one over here is this one over here is still in the problem. Okay? Well, I can get... See, don't, I shouldn't, and I suggest, do not put the 40 inside here and the 40 inside here, okay? To get the 40th term. It will cause many problems. Instead, what do we know? We know this, that from 36, n equals to 36, 37, 38, 39, is the final group of 4, so basically n equals to 40 is basically the term over here. Sorry, I'm using basically too much. Okay, so knowing that, I can just now go summation n equals to 0, n equals to 40, equals to 10 times this one over here, Just like what I showed you just now, which will give me to the 39th term, and now I'm going to add the 40th term. Let's not forget about that, which, and add up to, and which is this term over here, because, like I said, it repeats itself. The 40th term is the same as n equals to 0 term, 1 over root 2. And doing some simple arithmetic, plus 20i, plus 1 over root 2, we will get 1 over root 2, 21 plus 20i. And that is the answer. You can go rationalize the denominator if you want to. So, there you go. Uh, one of the more difficult questions, but then as I can show you, that's the way you tackle it. So, uh, just to recap, I'm, I'm thinking of repeating pattern because of the cosine function and of the i uh, I imaginary number. That's a good way because once you see something like that, try to think immediately ahead. Okay, I, I know it repeats itself. Cosine, I know it's a repeating function. So it would kind of, the four terms would be the same as each other. This is a good way because it really 
makes you think very fast and it really makes you think two steps ahead and that's the way that you can really gear up to solve the more difficult ones by handling the, the shorter so-called sections of the problem and there we go so it repeats itself watch out for the counting of the terms 41 terms this one we got to the 39th term and I got the 40th term I need to add the 40th term over here and this is the answer that I got hope you learned something from this complex number question